especially on the, the Apple, Google, different types of, of innovation, we, we've covered it pretty well already. There are two different types, right? One is very iterative, where you actually involve your end users and you launch early and often and constantly improve. Right? But if you think about product development as a vector space, where what drives you is time, the perfect product is here, there's a couple ways to get there. Right? You can vault your way there, which is what Apple likes to do. Uh, but the problem is, if you're Apple, you land on the mark. And if you're someone else, you could land over there. I wish point in time you have a worldwide dud, <laughs> right? So if you're, I mean, I think that at Google, we're just a little bit less self-assured. And we like to launch early and often and get user feedback and kind of walk our way there and say, OK, we launch. What do you like? Oh, OK. We see we're only a little bit off. Pull that back, you know, and like launch again and like sort of bird walk our way there. And I think both, I think both work. Which is I, like mm -hmm. almost every company is like right. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I if mean, they're good, they're you like try because I do think that, that that notion of pull the curtain shut, invest five years, try and vault your way there. The downside is just too big if you miss the mark.